Today's lesson is how to create a basic title effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. What you do is you click on your video content, you drag it into your timeline, which is easy to do. I'm not going to do it right now. So you drag your video and this is the video I'm going to use. This is a wrapper I work with. So what you do is you click on essential graphics, you click on browse, and I usually click on basic title. So you scroll down until you see basic title. You click and you drag to the timeline. Okay, when it's successfully dragged, a message prompt, when it's successfully dragged, you will see your title here. So what you do is on the left hand side, it's a, it's a T, you click on type tool, you click, then you click your title here, and of course, your artist name is not your title here. So you delete by clicking the space. You delete by clicking the backspace. You put title name. You type in the artist name. And that's it. So when I play, the artist name appears. So if you do want to shorten the time frame, you can either slice it, delete, or at the end of the title, you click and you drag. So now the title is shorter. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, like, subscribe, and comment. I'm dropping videos every single day, and I hope you learned something. Today's lesson is how to change your title color. This is a very easy tutorial, and it's an easy step to follow. So what you do is you click on your title on the timeline. On your left hand side is a T. Type tool, you click on type tool. It was already clicked, so I click it again. You highlight the artist name. On your right hand side, under appearance, is a check mark, a white box, and the word fill. You click on a white box and you click hold and you just find a color that you want. If you don't find a color you want, on your right hand side, on this line color you hold and you just begin to drag downwards. Once you find a color that you want, you click, you hold, and you perform the same step. You click OK. You click anywhere on the timeline to unhighlight your title and the title was changed. This is a very easy tutorial and I hope they helped you out. If it did help you out, please like, subscribe and share. And I'm dropping videos every day and I hope you learned something. Today's lesson is how to change your font size and title. This is a very easy step. So what you do is you click on your title on the timeline. On your left hand side at the bottom is a T. You click on T, which is type tool. So you highlight the name. Also, on your right hand side under text is a drop down. You click on the drop down and you select the title that you want. Let's say I want something simple. like the beach you click on the beach and for a bonus if you want to add an extra flavor on your title at the bottom you click on stroke check mark you click on a white box i used to like any color that you desire let's say i want red you click on red and you 
increase the stroke to let's say 20 and to unhighlight this you click on anywhere on the timeline and you see the title changes I added stroke and I can increase the font size please like subscribe and share I'm dropping videos every day and I hope you learned something Today's lesson is how to make your title pop out. This is a very easy step and I will show you step by step. But first, let me play this basic title effect by pressing play and the title is still. How to give it a pop out motion is you put your cursor at the end of the title. You click on the title on the timeline. On your left hand side, next to scale, you click on 100 and you press 100 on your keyboard and you press enter. Then you click on position, you click on scale. Then you take your cursor and you place it at the end of your title. You go back to the left hand side where you change the 100 to 0 and now you will change it to 0 to 100. So now let's test it out if we did it right. So you start from the beginning, you press play and the title popped out. If you want, you can actually repeat the step again by resetting everything and clicking the position this action will delete existing keyframe do you want to continue press ok and you click on scale and you repeat the same process if you want the title to cover the whole screen you click on zero you click on 100 you press 0, you press enter, you repeat the same step, click on position, click on scale, and at the end of the title, instead of putting 100, you can put let's say 500. 500 is too large, let's say 300. Same thing, 200. 200 is better. And let me see if I can. Okay, 200 is better. So, I play from the beginning. Okay, and that's how you make your title pop out. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Please like, subscribe. I'm dropping videos every day, and you might learn something.